Hello, my name is Curtis Steele, and I am the application developer for the ProWall Commander Control System. In this video, we'll go through file loading and copying. If you have any questions after viewing the video, please call ProWall Support at 403-335-9500. File loading and copying. The display allows the user to copy files to a USB stick and also load files into the display for things like your mix entry screen. So if you wanted to modify your mix entry data on a computer, insert it onto a, or load it onto a USB stick, it can be copied to the display uh, through the menu system here. So we'll go through some examples. First of all, I'm gonna show you where to find the copy file functions. So I'll just go back. So if, once you're into the menu screen, you hit mixer settings, and then you hit the wrench here. You'll notice on the left-hand side, there's these different copy functions. So copy mixer setup, copy mix file or mix entry file, copy the gates calibration file, and copy your calibration file for your powders. You can also copy the main log file for the main job log file for the entire um, machine in this case. So if you, when you want to copy a file, you just simply insert your USB stick into the USB port. Give it a second to acknowledge that the USB stick is there. And then you just hit the button for copying the file. And then a green file copy successful should come up if the file has been copied to the USB stick. Then you hit copy mix file, copy gate file, and copy calibration file. And if you want, you can also copy the log file to the USB stick. You'll notice on the other side of the screen, you can see that you can actually delete the existing files as well. So one thing to note when you want to delete a file, you still have to have the USB stick inserted because in order to delete a file off the screen, it actually makes a copy of it to the USB stick just in case so you have a backup. So if I wanted to delete the mix file off the screen, I could hit delete mix file. It would take it off the screen and add it to the USB stick. Same thing goes for any of the calibration files and the main log file. The mixer setup is, is things like your sensor calibration for your flow meters, uh, vibrator times, things like that. So that can also be copied to the USB stick if you needed to load it onto another machine or reload it onto your existing machine if need be. And you can also, yeah, so in this case, you can load the mixer setup back onto the, onto the display. So once you have the files onto the USB stick, you can actually go and reload them into the different menus for the calibration. So if I had my powder calibration on this USB stick, which I do, I can hit calibrate file load, and it'll automatically dump all my calibration data right onto the display. In this case, the data is the same because I just copied it. You can also do the same thing with the gates calibration when you hit gates file load. So if you hit that one, it rates the gates file calibration to the display. The other thing you can do is on the mix entry screen, if you wanted to, again, do your mix entry or input your mix entry data on the computer or the PC before you start uh, putting in data manually, you can actually do it on the PC, put it on the stick and hit load and it'll load all that data directly onto the uh, into the mix entry screen for you. So, because this can hold up to 50 mix entry values, sometimes it's faster to, to do it on the computer first before you start typing everything in manually. Thanks for watching this video and please contact Prol support if you have any further questions.